I'm bad. All right. You know me on 3D stuff. That's when I always show it, it seems like. This time I had fun with this Tricks and Treats dies. Comes with all, oops, all these little pieces. And this is what you cut your box out. So I have a couple little tricks on the boxes. And, just to, and I'll show you some fun different things we did with the box. First of all, a Halloween one you see right there in front. So I made this on the other side. It says thanks. It was just really a fun, easy thing to do. Um, I want to tell you a couple of things about these boxes. First of all, this is what they look like. They're just boxes. But I found out that if you make it a little skinnier, if you don't need it fat, you can get um, two sets of boxes out of one piece of cardstock. So let me show you what I did. And so this was, this is a, well, it has a candy and a oh, um, This is the skinnier one. I cut my paper in half, long ways. Okay, my cardstock. And oh, all you do is you set your die like this. And then you just match this side up. And I usually let a little bit of cardstock show in that little V thing right there. And see, it only hangs over a quarter of an inch. And you cut that out, and it looks like this, OK? And um, so they're skinnier, but you can get twice as many out of a piece of paper. So you know, that has value to me. I'll find something skinny to put in it. Uh, Kit Kats go in these things really good. OK. And um, my daughter is showing me um, the easiest way to put these things together, and I was doing it the hard way. But I like to use, um, okay, it's not sticky strip anymore, it's tear and tape. I like to use that, and I just put it on the inside of your little piece, and then on your bottom. This is the, I wasn't doing it this way, I was doing it the hard way, trying to line it up. So just leave it folded like that, and you just line the top up like this while it's flat. If you don't line it up right, it'll kind of be tweaked. So it doesn't really stand up good. And then just flip it, fold the other side off. Okay, so then you got your box. Could it get any easier? Not really. Can you get any easier? So that's the skinny one. But like I said, unless you need a fat box, the skinny one works good and you get more out of it. Another thing you can do is if you want to make it smaller, of course, you know, you just cut the top off. This one I just did the little lid with. And like this, it's in. And look, these things fit great in there. My favorite. Anyways, just to show you how you do that is you just take one of your, one of your pieces that you cut, and I lined up my uh, scoring thing. So you cut two and a half inches from the score line, cut it off. And then on the other one, you do the same thing. You do two and a half inches, but you just cut to the first score into that score. And then um, you score in, so you got a little fold at the end, okay? And that's all you do, and then you get this on the box. So you can do that with a little lid if you want, depending on what size and what you want to do on that. Okay, I'm just gonna show you a few Halloween ones first here. This is just a half a box cut off. So we have here a Dracula and Frankenstein. And this is just done with the um, zigzaggy thing that comes in right here. Oh, one little thing, if you're gonna do the zigzaggy, be sure you do it while your box is flat. I'm just saying, it's not gonna work really good going through that machine. And then this on Dracula was just done with a, a circle punch. So then we needed Frankenstein and his bride. So this is, you can take a box and put it inside a box. Oh, we have fingers. So, okay. So you just squeeze it a little bit to get it in there. See, and you can make his hair as tall as you want. And here's his bride. Oh. So, that cute? You can put a giant candy bar in one of these. Now, the little bear, our little polar bear guy, he's really fun. 
and really easy to do. And I'll tell you everything that fits in these size boxes, because I went to the store with a box. <laughs> went down every aisle. Okay, so Rice Krispie Treats, they work really good inside there. Now this one we thought was kind of fun if you wanted to do a little gift for your down life or something. Just a few Stampin' Supplies in there, some glue. And of course you gotta put a candy cane in because it's Christmas Eve. So I looked, uh, I know they make white snowballs, but all I could find was pink. <laughs> so the pink little snow, uh, the, uh, the little snowballs fit in there. And I know they're gonna come out with white ones before Christmas, so. But we have a pink polar bear right here at the moment. Okay, I love this one because this is our box and you just pinch it at the top, you know? Just go like this, pinch it at the top like that, put a little top on it, and it's like a little gingerbread house. See? Isn't that cute? I mean, that, I mean that, I would like that if someone gave that to me with a chocolate in it. Oh, yay. Isn't that pretty? And of course you have to have blue, blue kisses in it. There's one with the ornament. Here's one with the nativity. Now, I used that, the paper that had the little buildings on it on, um, for one of them, but the other side didn't need buildings on it, so I used a piece of the other stuff, the rest of it, and I just embossed that on there for that one. And this is vellum, the little um, nativity's vellum on that one. Okay, and this has those Swiss rolls in it. Yum. Okay. And then here's one. Now this little thing barely fits on the box. Um, so you need to make sure you can glue it across the top here and then I glued it right there because see it's like, it's like kind of hanging there. But it's kind of cool. And then you can add your animals and I put my extra animals on the back. They wouldn't fit on the front. This one has Kit Kats, I told you, Kit Kats fit in this one. Now, let me show you the snowman. Here's our snowman. This is a pumpkin, upside down pumpkin, there for his little hat. And this is the, uh, you can use your, the little dots we have, or this is the enamel. You put the enamel on it if you want. Now this next thing I have to show you is so freaking cute, and my daughter came up with this. Okay, so we have Santa. Now, do you know what this was made out of? This set of the dies. Okay, it goes with this. So his, his body, here's an upside down gingerbread boy. And the little hoop on the boy is his mouth. And then this circles in there with that little thing. That's his nose. And you have to put that on there to cover up the other stuff under there. And then just stamped a couple eyeballs. But all these pieces are from the die right here. His beard, his trim. Oh, the only thing is this one right here is that punch. You know that punch that's like square but with the, yeah. So add that one. Here's one without that. No, that punch is still on this one. That's this way. Here's another one. And this one is, so you can go up like this. Isn't that cute? And, uh, and then you can run this through your folder and then punch the pieces out if you want some texture to it. Okay, and here's, uh, we did two, because couldn't decide, do we want the hat in red like that, or we want this to be the hat? We couldn't decide. Anyways, cute, huh? Yeah. So it, they're really fun and easy to do. Anything you can put on a card, you can put on a box. Okay, you guys, really easy. Um, and then you could put something in it and give it as a little gift. All right, thanks. <laughs>